Cat7 vs Cat8 cables. What's the difference? When it comes to high-speed networks, Cat7 cabling and Cat8 cabling are the two advanced options available. However, Cat8 cabling is the only one that truly changes the possibilities of transmission constantly. Category 7 cabling was introduced and officially ratified in 2002. The new clarification was the ISO IEC 11801 standard. CAT 7 was designed to meet targeted specifications for crosstalk and interference. The construction of the cable was a fully shielded S FTP cable. Furthermore, it is constructed with foil shielding wrapping around individual pairs. Furthermore, an outer braided shield that surrounds all four pairs. The Category 8 cabling standard was introduced in 2016 and was specifically to target transmission speeds of 25 gigabit and 40 gigabit. It has a very similar construction to the CAT7 cable but we greater construction of the cable. Therefore, let's explore the key differences between these cable categories and understand their respective capabilities. Is CAT8 better than CAT7? CAT8 cables represent the next level of transmission performance compared to CAT7. They were designed to provide the highest transmission capabilities and bandwidth for high-speed applications. CAT7 cabling was designed to support 10 gigabit Ethernet or 10 G base T. This was at the standard copper cabling distance of 90 meters in the permanent link or up to 100 meters as a direct link. The introduction of CAT8 cabling opens a new world of transmission capabilities. These transmission speeds are 25 gigabit and 40 gigabit. However, these transmission speeds are over a reduced distance. Do CAT8 cables make a difference? CAT8 cabling make a significant difference in terms of performance. However, this is mainly over the shorter cabling link situations. With the capability support 25 gigabit and 40 gigabit, CAT8 cabling is suitable for ultra-fast connections. In addition, where reliable connections at high speeds are paramount. The main place CAT8 is employed, is in within data centers. Most structured cabling links in a data center are cabinet to cabinet, and within the same room. Therefore, shorter cabling distances. How much faster is CAT8 than CAT7? As discussed above, CAT8 offers a high transmission capability over shorter distances. CAT7 cabling is designed for 10 gigabit applications. The problem with CAT7 cabling is that CAT6A cabling also offers 10 gigabit capabilities at a better cost and an availability of materials. CAT7 cables have a bandwidth of 600 MHz. However, CAT8 cables depending on manufacturer can have a bandwidth of up to 2000 MHz. What is the maximum distance for CAT8 cable? The maximum distance for data transmission using CAT8 cables is in two parts. At 90 meters in the permanent link and 100 meters in the channel, this is with two patch leads added, CAT8 cabling supports 10 gigabit. This is the same as CAT6A cabling and CAT7 cabling. However over shorter distances it can support much high speeds. To support 25 gigabit and 40 gigabit the maximum distance is as follows. 24 meters for the permanent link. 30 meters for the channel, link plus patch leads. With specific switch setup and individual tests, it has been shown CAT8 cabling can support 25 gigabit up to 50 meters. Will CAT8 work with my router? CAT8 cabling like CAT7 cabling have a different makeup of copper pins within their connectors. The connectors have four additional pins compared to the previous eight pins. Therefore, different patch leads are required. The hardware they are plugging into also needs to be specific for CAT8 cables. They will potentially fit into standard switches but will only work to the lesser 10 gigabit capability. CAT7 vs CAT8 cables conclusion. Firstly, CAT7 cabling has become an unpopular choice in data cabling design. As its transmission speeds are similar to CAT6A, it's not specified to a high degree. Also, the availability of materials compared to CAT6A make it an unpopular choice. CAT8 cables as a standard do take transmission capabilities to a new level. However, as discussed, they are only over the shorter distances. The distances are mainly only suitable within a data center. With all network cabling design it's important that you first determine the requirements of your current networking needs and future requirements. There is no need to install the highest grade of cabling if your hardware doesn't require it. 
In addition, higher grade cabling generally requires a lot more containment. In a data center this is usually a lot easier to install. There is specific data center containment and there is more room to install it due to the open plan and exposed cabling routes. For further assistance or a free survey, please email or call on the details below, and click like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video.